Hello, my name is Matthew Yakov, and in this video we're going to learn how to troubleshoot a loss of a path between two branches. Let's assume the following scenario. Customers behind the branch number 12 are complaining that sometimes they don't have reachability to the voice services. To troubleshoot this situation, first thing that we would need to go, uh, we would need to open Burst Director and go to the monitor screen. Then we need to open the branch uh, where the customers are complaining that they have any problems. So in our case, it's VoIP branch 12. And in the voice over IP uh, tenant, we need to check the reachability between this branch and the branch where we have the voice over IP PBX server. To do this, we can go to the services, SDN, and a slave path. We can select that from this branch, voice over IP 12. We want to check connectivity toward the PBX voice over IP uh, SDN device. And right now we see we have multiple available paths. Uh, the current state, they are all up. But at the same time, if we want to see when was the last time there was a problem, we see that all of the paths uh, flapped approximately 14 minutes ago. So it means there is some problem constantly happening on the line. To see historical data about what was happening specifically with the branch 12, we can go to the home and then to the analytics section. In the analytics section, first thing that we need to do, we need to select our tenant that we are going to be looking information for, voice over IP in this case, and we need to go to the alarm section. In the alarm section, you can find a lot of useful information, such as, for example, SDN, data path, SLA not map. It means that the path was flapping because there was some problem, and the description shows us that the path flapped because there was a big MOS score and it was above the threshold. So at the same time, we can see multiple other events and we can even try to find when exactly the problem started happening with the uh, branch number 12. We see a lot of different uh, events that was happening and most of them are about not compliant SLA. So it means there was a problem in the path between our branch and between the uh, voice or IP PBX server. Next thing, we would want to know when exactly this started happening. To do this, we would need to go to the path section. In the path section, we would specify that we want to check the reachability from the branch 12 toward the branch, let's say, uh, PBX and see the data for the last day, SLA metrics. SLA metrics shows us that recently delay became very big. Actually, right now it's almost 10 o'clock, and it shows that starting approximately 7.30, we started having problems. We can even zoom in to see when exactly this started happening. And we see it's approximately 6.45 when the problem appeared. At the same time, this graph shows us only the delay. We can switch to other graphs such as, let's say, uh, PDU loss, how many losses were there. Or maybe you want to see the actual traffic loss that was happening. And again, we see that we have intermittent packet loss between our branch and the remote side. And now we know why the customers were complaining. We didn't have reachability between two branches because the packet loss uh, in a certain period of time became very big between our branch and the uh, PBX branch on the other side. Follow-up troubleshooting steps might include to check the system status of each of the uh, branches. To do this, we would need to go to the system. And in the system, we would need to select the organization that actually owns the device. In our case, the organization that owns the device is going to be the QA organization. And here, we can check the state of the branch number 12. So branch number 12 shows that the CPU load was approximately the same in the last day. Memory load almost didn't change. But at the same time, we can see that the number of sessions was very big yesterday, and it began again raising up approximately today when we started seeing a lot of packet loss. So we can make a correlation that most probably this is somehow connected. So this short troubleshooting tutorial was intended to show you how to troubleshoot the loss of the path and what might be the causes of this happening. 
hope this was informative for you and thank you for watching.